On top of the fabric, place the pattern. Outline everything with the chalk and after, cut it off. For this project, you will need some stretchable fabric. I'm going to use a four-way stretch polyester. The fold-over elastic, the threads, some needles to pin the fabric, the lighter, the scissors, the adjustable chain for decoration, and if you don't have the chain, then you can use a simple strap. And also it's comfortable with the hooks because later you can swap the chain for the strap and strap for the chain as well. The piece of chalk to outline the pattern and the pattern you'll find the link in the description box below. On top of the front element, place the back element, face to face to each other. And align the side seams. Pin it with the needles. Do the same with the shoulder seam. Now go to your overlocker or sewing machine and sew here and here. This is the front element and this is the back element. This is the side seam. Push the side seam to the back element. Pin it with the needles. Do the same with the shoulder seam. Grab the fold over elastic and sew it everywhere around. In this place, here and here, keep the free space of the elastic, I'll say around 2-3 cm. This is the fold over elastic. And you see this line in the middle? This is the fold place of the elastic. Now grab the fabric and place the fabric in the middle of the elastic. Fold the elastic this way and after sew here. When you sew, you don't stretch the fabric, you stretch a little bit only the elastic. When you finish to sew on the elastic, it should look this way. So, fold the elastic this way and start to sew without any fabric inside. Then grab the fabric and place it in the middle of the elastic and continue sewing. This is what I meant by saying keep the free space of the elastic. Turn the top on the wrong side of the fabric and align the side seams. Grab the lighter and melt the elastic and stick it together. This tip will prevent your elastic from sliding while you are sewing. Do the same on the other side. 
Now go to your overlocker or sewing machine and sew here. When you come close to the elastic here, you need to elevate a little bit the foot. This way your elastic will stay on the same level on the both sides. So, you see here, this is the elastic. Pull the elastic this way and make a small loop. Pin it with the needle. Do the same on the other side. Go to your sewing machine and sew here and here. And here I have a small loop. Now grab the scissors and cut off the leftover of the elastic. Then grab the lighter and eliminate the leftover of the threads and the fluffiness of the elastic. Grab the adjustable chain or the strap and put it inside of the loops. After, grab the needle and the thread and place the top this way. This is the front element and this is the back element of the top. Push the side seam to the back element of the top and sew it with the few stitches by using the needle and the thread, exactly the same way like you see me doing here. You need to grab all the layers of the elastic and put the needle into the loop. Keep sewing this way. When you finish to sew here on top, sew on the side as well. For this, you will need to grab a little bit of the elastic and the side seam and put the needle into the loop. When you come to the end, block the thread. Do the same here. 